Scorpio, how you doing? Uh, so, <laughs> how are you, Scorpio? So, Steve's back with a brand new invention. You might have a new invention, okay, and you might rock a mic like a candle. So, it might be something to do with junk Jack jumped over the junk jumble stick. Something to do with Jack, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine. Uh, for a lot of you, Jackie, just Jackie. Um, but yeah, so something to do with around a new invention, like you might be inventing something, or you might be a mad professor, or you might be going for a college or student degree of professor, or you might be very interested in a lot of like very intellectual speaking and talking of professor. Okay, so it could be like managerial professor type sort of uh, going to like, um, what do you call it, getting a degree in something. Could be around Fahrenheit, so it could be something to do with around um, uh, Sagittarius or Taurus placement, maybe. Um, something about degree, though. Degree, grease, grease, agree. We need to agree. Mm, agree to disagree. Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing that one. Degree Fahrenheit. I don't know, like inventing something new around food. Okay, or a new invention or something like that. But you may have even bought something and it's like very new. Okay, it could even be a new person, okay, and you've just come in, like, speaking to a new person, and they're very intellectual, and you have a lot of talks about, I don't know, spiritual stuff, and things like that, and, like, inventing things, like, what can I do that's different, that I can invent something, okay, like, I can do whatever it is I do with around my work, or my job, or the name Rob or Robin, but what can I do, and try and invent something, and I really feel like changing stuff up, doing something new, um, blah blah blah. I mean, if it's like tarot card readings for myself, I got this deck, this deck, and I got another two on their way, and I want to do something new. So anything like that, okay? Like I'm trying to invent something and trying to have a different way of looking at it, okay? Uh, it. If I say it, you say Steve, Stephen King, Leo, Aquarius, Life Path Eight, okay? But I'm trying to invent and try to do something new. The event horizon. You're not going to need eyes where you're going. So it might be around an eight, which is my Aquarian card, okay, or Aquarius sign, Aquarius Leo. But like I'm trying to invent something, okay, and I've got a mad prophetic idea or pathetic idea, but I no one's ever really done it before, but let's go and do it, okay. So something like that, like a, a mad invention, okay, it might be Frankenstein. You might even try to bring someone back alive, <laughs> okay? Well, like, uh, I don't know, connecting all these wires together and like, oh, that sparks. So it might be around a car or something like that, but something electrical, okay? And if I plug this into here and this into there, I might be able to get it to go through here. And it could even be where you're doing things around a car. I don't know. You're trying to jump start cars and things or like electric diodes and stuff or whatnot, or you're interested in science, okay? Um, anyway, they keep flying out, Scorpio. So, uh, recharge, recharge your batteries. What do you know? So it might be something around a car. It could be a life path center or a Cancerian. But it might be anything that is consumed around food, a new idea of food, a new idea to build up your energy levels. But it definitely says recharge your batteries, you piece of shit. <laughs> so it might be where you're kind of like, I don't know, because I keep picking up like, I need to recharge, I need to start charging more, or I need to start charging people for what I do. Okay, but I really need to start charging, okay. Um... But yeah, charging your battery. So it really could have anything to do around a life path seven or a cancer. It could be food, but it could also be like an invention. Like I really feel like I want to invent something new. I really want to do something. And I know if I do it, it'll give me better energy. So it could be, for instance, I don't know, I've stopped drinking a certain amount of sweetener. Okay, and I've stopped drinking Diet Coke. Okay, because it isn't that very good. So I just drink water after my first couple of cups of coffee. I drink water and then I have a stavia instead of sweet eggs, okay? But like something like that, okay? Self-care is super important. There you go. In case you don't know, life will feel, uh, life will feel as in intense as this squirrel if you don't do it, Steve. <laughs> No, no half-assed attempts. Either give it your all, okay? Either give it your all, but it doesn't say give up. So basically what it's saying is, is that if you want to do something different, give it your all. Don't give up. If it's a diet, if it's around food, eating food or not eating certain foods, 
don't give up, keep doing it. If you've stopped smoking, keep going, don't give up, okay? Self-care is super important. So looking after yourself, making sure that you, you are the main focus of your health, okay? So if it's like eating, anything like that, and you're doing well at it, keep doing it, keep doing it, okay? Because it says it's going to recharge your batteries, basically. So if you're like eating greens and lettuce and stuff like that, and you're enjoying it, keep doing it. If you're like me and you're drinking water and stuff like that and it makes you feel more energetic, keep doing that, okay? If you're intermittent fasting and stuff like that, keep doing it because it's working. Whatever it is that seems to be giving you a little bit more energy, keep doing that, okay? If it's around your work and you're really exhausted and you've come up with a new plan of doing something, try that, okay? Try to cut down on the most amount of food or cut down on the most amount of work, have a bit of a break and try a different approach at it, okay? Unless it's anything around um, eating and stuff like that, okay? Uh, anything here for, oh, sorry, so you can watch this as Scorpio, Aries, anywhere. If you've got Aries anywhere, you can watch it. If you've got Scorpio, obviously we're doing Scorpio, you can obviously watch it, Summer Rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node. If you're a life path four, you can see if you've got any messages, a little bit of messages there that might relate to a different star sign. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Or two life paths that come together to make a four. Okay, like a life path two and a life path two. Okay, or a life path three and a life path one. Okay, or a life path whatever. <laughs> okay, Trevor. You're in Trevor, Tracy. Anybody beginning with tea? Or you're drinking coffee or tea or something like that. Herbal tea, herbal remedy. Might have around copious amounts of ganja. So my advice would be give up, don't just keep doing that. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio. Chill the fuck out, Scorpio. Some of you are stressed as fuck. I'm time out. I, I, the time out. Tapia. What the fuck is that? Chill the fuck out, bruv. Just chill the fuck out. <laughs> it's easy to say, right? Some of you might just be generally very stressed at this time, okay? I don't know if it's a person that's stressing you out, something that you need to know is stressing you out, or it's just yourself that's stressed out at the moment. But what it's saying is, is chill out, okay? So go put yourself in time out. This very intent, uh, this very instance. So go and put yourself in time out right now. <laughs> Why are you stressing out? Go panda pers perspective. Go panda perspective on your own ass. Sit, drink, tea. Really, bruv? What was this saying about tea? <laughs> tea or coffee or something like that. Sit down, have a break, okay? Have a Kit Kat, unless your name's Kit or Cat. But like uh, journal, watch comedy, buy cool shit you don't need. Uh, hug yourself. You are you are the chill pill. It's all inside of you. Okay. So if you're very stressed, watch something that's funny. If you are very fed up and you've got a lot of on your mind, talk to someone that's extremely funny like myself. Okay. But like, look at comedy. Watch something that's going to raise your spirits. Okay. If it's anything to do with tea or coffee or you're drinking too much of something... Drink something that's better for you. Stop drinking Diet Coke or Coke or like loads of coffee, you know, drink water. Or like if you're not eating, eat something that's very healthy. If you're eating wrong foods, eat something that's healthy, okay? Also, uh, journal, okay? My idea of journaling is not the same as everybody else's. I believe that the more you journal about the past, that is where you will live, in that energy, because you'll relive it in your mind. Your mind is the creator of everything, okay? It guides you forward. Fear is something that stops you from going forward, okay? So if you relive our energies of past in your mind, your neuron receptors in your mind are basically just going to play out the same scenario. So it's about breaking habit, okay? So it's the same as smoking, drinking, love life, family life, anything like that. It's about breaking out of the norm and doing something that you wouldn't normally do to start something new. But it takes time in order to form or break a habit. It takes longer to break a habit than actually form it, to be honest with you. Okay. But, again, generally, for a lot of you, journaling 
If you want to go over the past and relive it, that's up to you. My approach has always been don't relive out the past. Make sure that you know that you are recovered. If you are recovering, you're still stuck. You'll still go over the same energy of the past. You will not be able to move forward because fear will stop you from moving forward. If you forget about fear and you forget about your past and you try to lighten your day by focusing on something that's very good, okay, that's positive affirmation and positive thinking and positive forward energies. But sometimes people in life, they are unable to do that at the moment. So I don't know if someone's disabled or you work for disabled children or it is someone else. But generally what it's saying is, is if you're doing something that's making you feel energetically good, keep doing that. If you're doing something that's tiring you out, try something different. OK, S spicing up your life a little bit. If it may be around eating the same foods, try eating something different if you're getting fed up with eating the same food. OK, um, yeah, so that will help you obviously chill out. OK, so let's get two messages from the steampunk fucking piss off or carry on deck. <laughs> carry on regardless. Carry on, carry on. Carry, carry, Keely. All right, Keely. Kelly, Keely, Keely, Keely Jones. Some of you, have you had the new Stereophonics album? It's very good. I actually had it on the uh, Echo Studio thing there a minute ago. So anyway, let's see. So if you haven't heard it, make sure you go and listen to Kelly Jones and the Stereophonics new album. It's fucking brilliant so far. Four songs in. Okay, so um, let's see. For Scorpio, any messages for Scorpio? So you actually get, you are the best thing that ever happened to you. Oh, so you might be dealing with Paul, Weller, maybe, or anybody beginning with P, Pucci, Pisces, a Piscean, Paul, Pauline, Paulie, Joe, Jolie, Joe, Joanne, Jason. Okay, but anyway, you are not the fucking center of the universe. Oh, so probably you're not the center of the universe. So I don't know, you are not the fucking centre of the universe. So that's if someone's trying to get your attention, you're like, fuck off, bruv, I need to take a chill pill. Okay, just chill the fuck out. You can never really tell someone to chill out, okay? So someone might be like, you know, you're not the centre of the universe, okay? <laughs> uh, let's see, Scorpio, Scorpio, but you can watch this for anybody, really. Scorpio, so that can be like a parenting thing, X, energy, Someone that frustrates you the shit and saying, look, you're not the centre of attention I am at the moment. I've got to do all of this. Think about me for a change. Uh, Scorpio. Don't fucking force it. Oh, you could be doing like a four, four of cups. Uh, don't let your... Don't let your incest fuck it up. In, what the fuck does that say? It's crazy when you're dyslexic as shit. I S S U E S S S U S S X oh it might be excuses oh I don't know okay but it's that word there okay don't let that shit fuck it up so it might be excuses issues sorry fuck bro really issues don't let your issues fuck it up so if you've got like very deep wounding scars of issues okay then don't let negative thinking mess your energy up because you've been doing so well okay so don't let like personal defects of oneself fuck up an energy of like self-sabotage basically i think is what it's saying okay so if you've got any issues okay and that's that relates to like journaling and keep reliving out the past and that's the approach you've took try something different because that might start working the advice that ever that i will ever really give anybody is try that Try journaling, you know, try going over your past and try to look at mirrors and shit. But in my aspect, that doesn't really work, okay? A mirror is something and a defect of something is what will be triggered off with another person regardless anyway, okay? But when it comes to past trauma, okay, that doesn't mean I need to keep thinking of all of the bad shit that's gone on in my life and all of the negativity. It's not going to ever help anybody, okay? It's about shifting your focus and focusing on something new, okay? Something that's funny, like comedy or or something like that. But, you know, don't. it's just not like a half-assed attempt. Like, okay, well, I'm doing a little bit, but really I can't be bothered. I just want to do 
you know, <laughs> kind of being stuck really. One more for Scorpio, and then we'll get on with your tarot, Scorpio. So again, you are the best thing to you. Fuck them. Fuck them. Okay, them, M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, fuck them, all right? So it really might be something that you're arguing with someone here, and you know what, I, you know, fuck you, you know, I can't be doing with constantly always bitching and moaning at me all of the goddamn time. If you're going to bitch and moan, then go and tell it to someone else, because I really do need to start concentrating on me, and the only way I'm ever really going to build up my energy, really, is by stopping walks over like a carpet. Avoid people, okay? Start taking back your energy. Start focusing it on Netflix, watching the TV kind of thing, right? Uh, like comedy, doing something that's fun, okay? So it, it that's only really if someone's like battering your fucking head in and they're doing your head in. You're just like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> okay, go away, Felicia. Okay, I really cannot be doing with that. I've got important things to do. Okay, that's obviously if it's other people that are causing it. But if you're the cause of it, well, then there's basically just a general energy here of maybe trying something new, right? Probably try and do something that's that makes you laugh. Okay, so let's see, Scorpio. What has Scorpio got going on, please? Scorpio, Scorpio this week, please, for Scorpio. Scorpio. Uh, so you've got the seven of wands. So some of you are getting slightly frustrated here. It's also like whose side are you on anyway? Are you on my side or you're on their side? You know, uh, it can also be seven of wands can also be like, well, I'm not dropping all of my boundaries. I might let you in, but you're not getting the best of me all of the time because I, you know, I don't feel as if I want to be forced into anything. And if you're not making up your mind and I'm not either, I can't physically, like, open up to you if, like, because the Seven of Wands is more like a Seven of Cups energy as well of, like, choice, okay? It's your choice. It's up to you, okay? But, like, you know, you don't have to feel scared. You don't have to feel worried. You don't have to feel attacked. You see, the three main things in life, everything comes down to three. It really does. And it's about psychology of doing it in reverse order, okay? So when you look at like relationship, if you look at the main three factors of life, the one thing that you never do is look for marriage instantly, okay? Okay, you're no good because you don't want children. You're no good because you're not going to get married and I want marriage, okay? So when you look at reverse order, women always need first is to feel safe and wanted. When they do, they feel very safe. When they do, they can find a common interest with you because they love you because that's what they find for a common interest. They realise that you're very interesting, very intelligent, very emotionally intelligent, very open in order towards the relationship, that you don't lie, you don't bullshit, okay? You have a, an equal side of left and right, okay? So that's what you get. You get safety, then you get common people and common grounds, and then you get trust, which follows with love, okay? So that's respect, not street cred respect. Is that I respect you enough to be honest with you and to talk to you about things, okay? But when you do it the other way, when you expect trust right at the beginning to trust someone wholeheartedly and just throw caution at the wind and trust them straight away, that's doing things in reverse order. So then you would go to like, well, do I fully trust you? Can I fully open up to you if I do or don't know you? But I can't fully do that until I know. So I can't 100%, well, one in seven I can, okay? But one in 10, I can't really give you a score of 10, okay? So I don't really know, okay? But I kind of do. But then if that energy there is going in reverse order, then, okay, I fully trust you with my whole life. But we have nothing in common. What do we know about one another? Not a lot. So you have to build up things in common. But no, let's just go straight to the energy of like, well, you trust me, right? You feel safe around me, right? Okay. So is it feel safe, things in common, trust? Or is it trust, nothing in common, I don't even feel safe around you? You know, do it the opposite way around. It takes time in order to build up a rapport with someone, Okay. So let's see, because seven is like a, a, a cautious energy, okay? 
I'm here, but I need to be cautious. Okay, I need to think more first. Okay, so that kind of energy there. Okay, so let's see. Scorpio. Scorpio, five of ones, man. Fucking hell, some of you are really having an argument. Like I said, <laughs> sevens, if you're a low path seven like myself, okay, you can find it very difficult around a Taurus or a Scorpio placement here. Okay, because the Seven of Swords would carry Five of Swords with it and think, fuck that, bruv, I am not hanging around here. You could be dealing with a hangman. If I say hangman, you could say Pisces. <laughs> right, but like Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten, Eleven, Twelve, Three, Three of Wands. Okay, so it could be a third party. It could just be waiting for someone to just flip out and you're like, you know what, fuck off. Okay, why don't you just fuck off? Okay. The centre of the universe does not fucking evolve around you, okay, all the goddamn time. Stop keep trying to get my attention by playing stupid little games. I'm really not bothered. Why don't you piss off, okay? Scorpio, stand up for yourself. Unless it's the other person and you deal with someone like myself, or you're a Scorpio rising and you have a family situation where they're a life path for, okay, but they're a Scorpio, <laughs> but you're a Scorpio rising and they are Taurus rising, Taurus North Node compared to your Scorpio rising and Scorpio North Node, and their life path four clashes with Taurus Scorpio. If you do, and you're a life path seven like me, and you've got other people in your family, that's a fucking awful situation to ever really be in here. Because that is not more of like, well, I don't trust you. Because you bitch, and you moan, and you scream, and you shout. You're like a rocket that goes off, like a tower. Seven. I walk around eggshells with you. I'm not trying to like get around you. I'm trying to get away from the energy why would I want to sit here arguing over petty little shit? Because they're minor arcana cards. But is it minor? No, not really. It's not minor. It's definitely not in flow and in tandem of ebony and ivory. No, we don't get on. But that does not have to mean your love life. If it is your love life, well, then it's in a fucking ray at the moment here. Okay, but it's either a minor discussion or something that's hugely going on with really not wanting to listen to someone else's bitching and moaning. And what they need to do is actually chill the fuck out, man. Chill out. But if you tell that person to chill out, are they going to? More than likely not, no. That's probably why you're not speaking. Because their advice is, chill the fuck out. But if they was to listen to this, they'd be like, well, you tell me to fucking chill out. So what do you do? You avoid them. You avoid the person. Because the outburst of emotion that creates a reaction. Every action has a reaction. Every uh, response has an impulse to respond back. It's pushing someone's buttons. Okay. So, why don't you fuck off? Argue with someone else. <laughs> right. It's up to you, whoever that is. I don't mind if you cross watch and you're pissed off. Well, there you go. Truth hurts. Right. So there you are, Scorpio. Loud and proud as an Aries as well as a Scorpio. Why is that? Because on top of the star sign card, it says four on a Scorpio. On top of the star sign card of Aries says four. So when you call it out, what do I call out? Four. Scorpio, Aries, there you are, standing strong. Criticism, people moaning like a bitch, giving you criticism for what? Being emotionally intelligent. Someone that can take criticism. If you don't like it, fuck off. If you don't like hearing the truth, then why the fuck are you here? But this could really be doing with families. Family situation. If you tell your family to fuck off, they just, well, how dare you? I told you the whole reflection of this reading, I'm always honest. I told you, I'm a Scorpio rising, also I have Aries in Jupiter, which is my masculine energy. My mother has a life path four, but she is a Scorpio, uh, Taurus rising, Taurus north node. That is so conflicted within an energy of north and south, but also because you get squares, you get trines, and then you get oppositions. Our whole chart is completely opposite, where it takes two seconds to flip like a script. Boom! A Sagittarius moon as well. Okay, five. Just not compatible. Not with me and you guys, if you've got it. With the person that you're with. Five is at work. Speaking the truth at work. People that have to take on criticism for people that don't understand. Don't want to know. Don't want to listen. Right? Don't want to know. Don't want to listen. Fucking can't, you know, just can't seem to do anything. 
Okay. So let's see. And trust me, this person would see you in the same way as because you're opposite. They would see you as that person that's arrogant, argumentative, not prepared to listen, don't want to know, don't want to listen to your demands. You speak to them, they speak to you. You kind of get on and then you split up and then you argue. You push each other out of your lives. But if it's family, it's normally where it's like a fucking push and pull. You, you can't... You, it, well, if this is like... I don't know. It wouldn't be a new person, right? A, a new person wouldn't flip out over this for nothing. You, you know, <laughs> you wouldn't feel like you need to protect yourself away from somebody for nothing. There would have to be something that causes that or that has caused that, which could be an energy of like, I don't respect you. I don't respect you enough to pay any attention to it. I'm too intelligent to fucking bother about all of your general little tit for tat bullshit. Okay, I don't play games, Michael Jackson. Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie. I don't play games. I ain't got time for that shit. Fucking Danny Glover, bruv. <laughs> right? Can't take this shit no more. I just, I can't take any more of your bollocks and your moaning. <laughs> if you get titchy through that, well then I'm not the best reader for you to watch because I ain't going to sugarcoat shit. Okay. So let's see. Scorpio. What they got going on, please? Scorpio. Scorpio. Eight. Fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out. Okay, can't we do them with just all of this petty little arguments? Okay, I'd rather go. Okay, but just avoid you basically, because if it's family, it's just like I'm going out. Okay, you go out the door and you try to get out very quickly without coming into contact with the person, because they probably moan and scream. And where are you going? What are you doing? Blah 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 blah. When are you when are you coming back? What are you doing? Oh. <sighs> just Jim Carrey. Go down, see you, bye. Oh, gone. Be concerned more about your own life than mine. Okay. See ya. Eight of Cups. So this is either family or your love life. Let's see. But it's not your family if you're not arguing with them. Okay. Might be something else. But let's see. Four. Scorpio. What have they got going on, please? Scorpio. Moon. A mother. You see? A life path nine, a Scorpio, or in their chart somewhere, or a mother. Can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces involved, but nine is, a, is, is, the moon is a nine for me. So it's in purgatory, can't see my way out. Can't see anything. People, it's just a book that says Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's why a nine represents purgatory. Okay, I'm stuck here, living here with this person. And I'm here day in and day out. Overnight stay, overnight working. Light workers, <laughs> dark workers, fucking any kind of worker, 12 hour shift people, but also a mother or someone that also has to contend with family members that cause arguments. But how old are they? Okay. But it's purgatory, a nine card. Can't see my way out of this situation, really. Not yet, anyway. Okay. So it might be where someone's getting really frustrated at home or at work. And then when they get home, they get home to their mother and their mother starts fucking bitching and money like, bruv, I'm just going to throw all of my fucking cards on the table in a minute and tell you exactly what I feel. Because you're pushing my buttons. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Let's see. Scorpio. Ace of Wands. So some of you can't wait to just get home from work and see your partner if you're in a partnership with somebody. Or you're just like, what you do with me? When people start getting irate and they're like, oh my God, everything's so bad in life. I'm like, okay, let's just go in here, get away from everybody and make music here. Okay. Recharge your batteries, you piece of shit. <laughs> okay. So what do I start to do? Generally, make music, watch Netflix, watch a comedy. What? Well, mainly YouTube. Mainly YouTube. I love YouTube. YouTube is brilliant. I watch the Stolen Brothers from uh, Scotland. The Highland Lads. The Strongest Man. Fucking brilliant. I, I love that watching all that sort of stuff. But uh, the Stolen Brothers. Okay. Look them up. The World's Strongest Man. And then his brother, Tommy, which is the uh, World's Strongest Man. And then Luke. Okay. But uh, yeah, they're from up Scotland. Uh, Highland. Um, but yeah, again, what do you do? I do that. This card means this. That's what that means. 
making music, okay, doing something that makes you feel good, whether it be Netflix, looking at life, looking at your health, okay, whatever it is that is super important of self-care towards you, that's how you do it, okay, you focus on something that is really funny instead of someone that is very negative. Some people in life, they love to be negative, they love to worry about negativity, unless there's something that there is to worry about, do you know, that's the old saying of families. I will give you something to worry about in a minute. You want to think yourself lucky, <laughs> right? But like if there is something to ever really worry about because it be health related, well then granted, okay? But if it isn't, is it really worth it? Okay. Let's see. Scorpio. So it could be to do with an ex and a child. And then you got your love lives, which is the king of wands here. So you really could be very passionate and sexually, like with your partner, you really could be with them, but you've just got other things that are kind of going on. For the majority of this, it really could just be tit for tat. You know, I'm a very exhibitionist, me, when it comes to reading tarot cards. I like to try and give someone a bit of comedy. I am an exhibitionist, granted I have, I have a big ego, okay? So these can be very minor, very minor situations. They can be little tit for tat things that you go through with family, bickering and bullshit, but you're like, Pff. but your love life ends up being okay, you're just kind of like waiting to talk to your partner for a lot of you here, okay, and these are just very tit for tat things that you go through at work with a parenting situation, blah, 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 and then you've got a brighter day ahead, some of you here, you kind of got this energy of um, maybe your ex that you had children with at one point, and that's just the person that you fucking argue with all the time, because of your kids, because the person that you were married to ended up getting divorced, Five would be Hierophant, okay, got divorced, it caused a load of fucking separation and arguments, blah, 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 or we need to get divorced, we need to be separated, and I know that when I tell you, it's going to cause a lot of problems, because I actually want to go meet someone new, for a lot of you, so it could be that, okay, and it could also be a divorced couple that are just constantly divorced all the time, but the only reason they contact one another is for the children that they have together, but signs of reconciliation is very bleak. Okay, um, and there you go, unless you're working on your obliques and you're doing something around fitness in the gym and weights lifting and all that sort of thing, like an oblique kick is what they used to call it in karate, oblique kick, just a small little kick to the shin, ah, <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, so that's what I've got for you. Uh, if you want to join, it really helps me out as a channel to do this, but it goes to the full access bundle only. You can find that link provided below in the video that tells you all about it first. If you want to reach out for a personal reading, it's below. Uh, the email and the videos, all educational videos. Uh, if you want to join Angel Radio, it's me as a music producer, and it is all free. You can find those links provided below also. And then the link to Patreon obviously gives you a link to Summer Rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node. And then the numbers, if you follow me in uh, numbers, so I read in numbers, you can find them below as well if you don't know. Okay? But nobody ever watches them. But they'll probably ask anyway, but without watching. <laughs> so I don't know why I bother. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, thanks very much. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.